The Tomatis Method takes its name from its founder, Dr. Alfred Tomatis, born in Nice on the 1st of January, 1920. From a painful conception, he grew up to become a renowned doctor, scientist, and specialist in hearing and language difficulties. Being that he was the son of the famous Parisian opera singer, Umberto Matisse, at an early age, he became familiar with the world of music and opera. His passion for music tied up to his medical studies on the ear, the throat, and the voice, led him to brilliant insights into the nature of listening, singing, and communicating. This enabled him to establish a relationship between hearing and phonation, between the ear and the voice. His method was founded on a number of hypotheses concerning the way in which human beings develop, process information, communicate, and finally learn. For this, he developed a sophisticated device called the electronic ear, capable of modifying the way in which humans listened and consequently his way of speaking and listening posture. By re-educating the ear, he was able to make explicative hypotheses of his clinical observations. The result was the Tomatis effect. This result was summarized in three laws. The voice contains only what the ear hears. If the hearing is modified, the voice is immediately and unconsciously modified. It is possible to durably transform phonation when auditive stimulation is maintained over a certain time. Law of duration. <laughs>